Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Today we are going to use Cricut Infusible Ink and we are going to compare it on a Cricut blank, a t-shirt, a t-shirt that has 50% polyester and 50% cotton, and a t-shirt that has 100% cotton. So we are going to do infusible ink on each one of these t-shirts and see the difference that it makes. Please like this video and follow my page for everything sewing and Cricut. Let's get started. I am already wearing a t-shirt that I made with infusible ink. You can find the video where I tell the difference between iron-on vinyl and infusible ink. This t-shirt has been awesome. I've loved wearing it. This quote says, I can sew you the world and it's kind of um, a spin-off of a quote from Aladdin. And the quote we are doing today is, so this is love. This is a quote from Cinderella and it, the word is just so S-O instead of S-E-W. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about infusible ink since I've already done a video about it, but essentially it's not something that sits on the fabric. It actually goes in, infuses, and stains the fabric. I already cut the quote from the infusible ink transfer sheet. I've already weeded it. I cut the exact same for each t-shirt, which you can see. And we are going to start with the Cricut Blank. So you need a mat, you need an easy press too, you also need this little rolly, just so you can get any lint off of your t-shirt. So let's warm up the shirt for a little bit, get it nice and warm, ironed really flat. So you put this in the middle so that the ink doesn't go through to the back. Let's see if that's the right size. Then you put your transfer sheet. Okay, I've transferred this and then you need to put a piece of parchment paper on top. Move this out of the way. Now, I'm going to put it on and you can't move it around, you can't bump it, and you want to sit and it's at 400 degrees for 40 seconds and you carefully place it down and then you carefully lift it up. Now I lift this. Lift my paper. And you just peel it off. and you have a really great shirt. So I can see that the ink didn't fully transfer in some of the spots. I don't know if that was the heat, but I think it still came out and it looks really good. So let's try it on a different t-shirt. This is the, this is the t-shirt that's 50-50 to clean it off. going to place this in between the two layers. Put on a piece of butcher paper and heat it up for 15 seconds. Then I'm going to move this, place this on. I put my butcher paper back on and Carefully lift it, lift your butcher paper, and you can do a warm peel and lift this. So as you can see, one part of my thread piece right here, can you see that it's black right here? Part of it didn't transfer right there because it got ripped and moved to the other side. But do you see how this is not nearly as dark as this? This is very dark. Even the spots where the ink didn't fully transfer, this one is much, much darker than this one. So let's try the last one. I wonder if the ink will transfer at all. 
I guess the infusible ink really is supposed to work with polyester. So I wanted to compare what it looks like when you don't use a Cricut blank. And warm up the t-shirt for 15 seconds. Heats up. Now I'm going to clean this off. Carefully. I'm going to place my infusible ink transfer sheet, put my paper back on, and let's heat this one. Okay, I lift it up. I wonder if the ink even transferred. Let's see. We can do a warm peel. And it did transfer, but there's still a lot of ink left on this instead of being transferred to that. Oh, how interesting. The ink even went through. On that last one, the ink went through the fabric into the folder. That's why you always need something in between to protect the layers. But it didn't transfer on any of my other shirts, just the cotton one. That's very interesting. So I will say I was watching the Easy Press 2 while I was heating this and I had it set at 400 and when I started it was at 400 but I saw it fluctuate in that 40 seconds I saw it fluctuate between 380, 385, 390, 400. I saw it going you know up and down. I could see it struggling to keep the heat up at 400 and so I think that when it was going down to 380 that's why the ink didn't fully transfer right here at the top. When I did this one, the ink transferred perfectly and there was no ink left on the transfer sheet. This one definitely looks the best. The black is black and dark and the lines are very clean and crisp. It looks very good. This one, interestingly enough, is... I think this one still has clean and crisp lines, probably because there was polyester in the shirt, but it's very faded. It looks like as if it had been through the wash 50 times. So you probably wouldn't want to wear this or give this to someone because it doesn't look that professional. While this one looks like you bought it at the store, it looks very good. And this one, I would say the color is better. This is darker than this middle one, but the lines are very fuzzy and almost like green on the edges. It looks really, it just doesn't look really great. If you see that, I don't know if you can see. So can you see those green edges? And this one is very faded. And this one looks the best. This tells me that you need to use 100% polyester fabric to make infusible ink work. If you are really nervous, just buy a Cricut Infusible Ink Blank, which will be perfect and look the best. It will always work even um, if you follow the instructions correctly and have the heat at the right temperature instead of using these other shirts that really don't look as good or work as well as the Cricut Blank. If you like this quote, I can sew you the world or so this is love. They are both Disney sewing inspired quotes. You can buy the cut file on my page or in Etsy. I will link to them in the description. I can't wait to see what you make with infusible ink. Please share it with me on social media. Thanks for watching this video.